Hey, what's up, guys? I am here with We Made Marvel R Rated. So, this video seems interesting. Tell me if you guys like it down below in the comments. Um, this is by Corridor Crew, your favorite CGI VFX artist. So if Thor's hammer is supposed to weigh as much as a planet, what do you think would happen if he smashes someone with it? Well, they wouldn't go flying. They would be completely obliterated. I love the action scenes in Marvel movies, but every once in a while, I can't help but think they're holding back just a little bit, especially after seeing Logan and Deadpool. We've seen what it looks like when superheroes truly unleash their powers. Today, using VFX, we're going to bring some of that to our favorite Marvel movies. What would they look oh, like? Oh, whoa. They're about to make some Marvel movies from the MCU, like, R-rated. This is going to be insane. Like, if they were rated R. So the first step in this process is going through some of our favorite scenes and seeing which ones bend the rules just a little too much for our liking. We're gonna take a look at these scenes with Nico and Peter. What's up guys, my name's Peter. I'm 21 years old and I'm a fat Marvel nerd. I've seen every single Marvel movie. I, I literally saw Iron Man in 2008. When it came out, I was like, I was 10 years old. I didn't watch the most recent Avengers because I think anytime somebody breaks like a finale into two movies, I just don't care about the second movie. Ren was talking about this one. <laughs> All of his internal organs would be squished from the, the momentum. It's the same with Superman when he catches someone who's falling out exactly. of the air. Exactly. They'd be dead immediately. They just. He, his body would just liquidify. It'd be like juice coming out the feet right there when you yeah. turn around. Yeah. Uh, Iron Man would probably have cancer from the gamma radiation. Right. Just construct a scene of like Tony Stark in a hospital room. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Loki. So he gets bonked off his air scooter. I am a god, you dull creature. And I will not be bullied by that. That I mean, is not realistic. It would look like yeah. taking a towel, dipping it in red food coloring, and then slapping that wet towel around. Yeah. But is it because he's a god? Like He's an alien, technically. Oh, you're right. He's not a god. So if you smacked an alien into a floor, would they die? Did Iron Man poo all the way oh, to Afghanistan? There we go. Oh, yeah, more juice, just so he lands in juice on the ground. <laughs> he loses control of his bowels because he travels so fast. <laughs> Did you hear the, the farting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, there we go. That's the first shot. Look at that. It's just doom. <laughs> That's oh. death. This is like straight like obliteration. This okay. is like shreds. And reminds me of two true lies when she's like, "Did you kill them?" He's like, yeah. He killed so many people, but Marvel didn't show any blood, I guess. But they were all bad. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the opening scene of Captain America. Oh, that guy would be dead. Sorry, just, that guy would be dead. That guy would that be guy sliced in half. Slice in half. I'm just imagining that blood splat <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> Captain America just wasted like four upstanding SWAT team officers that have, all have children who are like two years old. The visual effects I'll be doing is the uh, crying wife as the car rolls up with the two like people dressed in suits. Oh, that Straight guy up, <laughs> I, sh I shot him in the face. <laughs> Wait, this scene's perfect. Ooh. Just see blood dripping out of him right there. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, right there, this guy just gets his head chopped off by the shield. Ooh. Oh yeah, he's done. Oh, he just kicks the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what if he just kicks him, the head stays in the spot and the body goes. So after scouring through these scenes, it seems like really some of the best clips we're finding are in Captain America. We have a superhero and superheroes fighting mm -hmm. actual humans. If they were fighting real people, it would look very different than what you're seeing in the movie. People would be decapitated, they would have their spines broken. Like, these people should be dead, but like Disney had to disney fight. it, you know what I mean? Not to say it's a bad thing, they did a good job with the MCU, but they're clearly holding back on some of the violent things these heroes can actually do. They would kind of turn into meat sponges and spider everywhere. Out of all the scenes that we could tweak to make it look realistic, that one kind of stands out to me. So, we have a lot of work to do. We're going to divvy these shots up because we're all going to tackle it as a team. There's going to be a lot of 2D compositing, maybe a little bit of 3D work, we'll see. And then I think at the very end, cap it off with a little bit of sound design to hopefully make all the extra visuals really pop. This scene is going to feel like it's straight out of John Wick. Hey Jake, what's, uh, what's yeah. going on here, man? I know you guys are getting used to seeing me and thinking, oh, there comes a brand integration because Jake's on camera. Well, guess what? 
Today is absolutely no different because this video is sponsored by Squarespace, but let me tell you why that's important. I really think the guys pay a lot. <laughs> he did a good job of like making me not care that he's actually here for brand rec for uh, brand plugins, and I'm just like, okay, bro, I'm glad we're here. What you got to say? <laughs> it's okay. More attention to me when I'm dressed up as their favorite characters from pop culture. So we have this Iron Man suit just sitting here. Let's see how believable I pull this off, and I think at the end. And everyone's gonna learn something about Squarespace. Hey guys, billionaire playboy philanthropist Tony Iron Man Stark here. I'm gonna go tell the guys a something or two about Squarespace. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Award <laughs> winning customer support. Using Squarespace or 10% off your first purchase. It's great me. That was good. Right. Hold the mic for. I'm picking my teeth, and I'm not gonna. Put, I'm not gonna put this in my mouth. I was tasked with this beautiful shot. It's like throwing a frisbee. Look, he's throwing a frisbee at him, and it kind of ricochets off, and the guy goes, "Poof!" We were thinking, well, the velocity that thing's traveling at is pretty high. Captain America's shield is so strong, it deflects explosions and bullets and lasers, hammers, so it probably can slice through a man like butter. I'm cutting him in half. I want the bottom half still. The legs are great, but basically I need to replace his top half with a new top half. Resorted to one of my favorite websites, Mixamo. They have a really great SWAT model, same model that Peter's using. I take that. I basically just deleted the second half, put kind of like a meatball. <laughs> I threw this like big old meatball in there and jammed it up in there, man. Dude, mama mia, that's the shot of him <laughs> regretting everything. I think he's thinking about his family, his life choices, and country and patriotism is worth more than a paycheck from an evil corporation. Basically, a little color correction, and I just kind of add that. Here's what really is making the shot good. The shield bounces back still. If it's slicing through him, let's yank the shield out completely after it hits him like this. Let's just kind of have it carry on for a little bit more. With maybe a little bit of wobble, like whoa, 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 whoa. And I think that really helps sell it. Now it feels like it's like, it feels like, you know, it's a slice here. So that's the finishing touch on this shot. We're doing a fan-made re-release of the whole movie, rated R. Actually, that would, that would be pretty dope, actually. You know, this is the proof of concept for anyone out there who is interested. All right, I'm doing the guy who gets ostrich knees. <laughs> so here's the finished shot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yep, that works. <laughs> Crunch. Just Horn. turns into an ostrich, man. So it's just, it's quick and dirty. So here's just the base shot right here. I've gone through and masked out the lower halves of the legs so I can erase them. So here he is with his legs painted out. And something I noticed, because I need to put legs back in, is that his leg rotates just the right way that would match the perspective shift where I can see the bottom of his feet after they flip up all the way. And I stuck my two ostrich legs, and here we go. <laughs> oh, my knees. Next up is the guy who gets hit in the neck with Captain America's shield. Oh, all right, I'm back. It took me a day, I got a little busy. I thought it would really be funny to do kind of like one of those anime things, like I get sliced, but then when he gets hit, like he breaks into pieces. So the very first thing I had to do was I had to erase his head. Now you can kind of see some feathering and some issues around it, but once all the other effects are in there, you can't tell. So let me put the other effects in there. The next thing I had to do is I had to cut out the guy's head. Then after that, animate it to fall down. The last touch here is I need to put in blood spiders. What I'm looking for with the blood here is that it needs to be going in the right direction. So when the shield hits him, I need it to splatter out sideways. If I were just to drop the blood without any effects, this is what it looked like. Totally doesn't match. The color is completely wrong. If you look at the image, the image is kind of all one color, and that's because of the smoke and the lighting. So the blood just has to be the same darkness as the guy, and it looks great. And once again, it's not the most sophisticated VFX shot. Pretty simple approach. But I didn't have a lot of time, and I'm imagining that a lot of Peter's 3D effects are going to steal the show. Anyways, I looked over Peter's shoulder. There's a lot of good stuff he's working on. Just doing some fluid simulations for this blood using Flit Fluids, a plug-in for Blender, which I like very much. I was having a problem before where the blood was sliding all over the place, which isn't too realistic. And Flit Fluids has this nice viscosity feature, so I can turn that up a bit. And you can see in the next shot here, it's sticking to the ground and kind of clumping together a bit more. And it's still kind of janky because it's a fluid simulation, but it looks just good enough to pass. Oh, I put bugs on Falcon's face. You know, if you're flying that fast, you're gonna get a load of bugs. 
I make seven hostiles. I decided to do the falcon head slice here. It was actually a similar effect to Brett's head spin in the Keanu video. So we go ahead and paint his head out. We take the original footage and we stabilize the position to his head. So the head spins around its center of gravity. With the sound design, this is gonna be so funny. I keep telling Sam and Nico we have to record our own ADR for everybody screaming. We're gonna add some extra screens and kind of take it up a notch as far as audio is concerned. I really think the finishing touch is going to be fixing up the audio here because the visuals are gonna be substantially different. So we'll want the sound to match that. We've done this before. You just take the mic and you give it 100. These guys are really, really talented. They took some of some Marvel movies and made them like a rated R. This is crazy. <laughs> Percent, just yelling as loud as possible. <laughs> okay. okay, sure. I'll just do my best, and I'm. <clears throat> I'm just gonna wing it. So yeah, the stock's crashing, yeah, the portfolio's just not... What the I feel sweaty, it's hot in here, but we got some good stuff, and it's gonna be disturbing. Dude, this is so brutal. <laughs> Here. Y'all boys want to watch some effects? All the shots are finally done. This is my favorite part of any video like this where all the shots finally come together. Now there's a lot of shots in here. And honestly, I, we really have to give it up to Peter because he, he did a lot of stuff on this. He did multiple effect shots, but he also did the sound design for the whole piece. Guys, where is Peter? 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 Peter's Peter. coming up. I'm <laughs> this is also really, really special because this is Peter's last day in the studio this summer, after which he has to go back to school and keep learning more things. God damn it. Here's the original scene for context. Here we go. Awesome. That is so awesome. This is the beginning of Civil War, right? It's, yeah. it's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's great. It's a great action scene. Captain America, uh, Captain Falcon, whatever their names are. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Planet. They're all actually super powerful beings. You know, whipping a metal shield at somebody wouldn't just like make them go Ugh, and like be all woozy. Um, I'm really curious to see your shots, how they turned out. Peter's shots as well. I am a little nervous to hear the sound design because you lose control a little bit. You're like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if it's even crazier and even more over the top? And I'm just hoping that Peter has kept this at a, a restrained, <laughs> respectable level that still honors the original action scene. Um, yeah, you guys watch. I'm just gonna, I'll be back. So that, it's already an incredible scene. Here's what happened to it. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> wow, that was great. That was so good. Can you guys guess whose screams are whose? <laughs> Alright, so Sam was obviously the first one. <laughs> <laughs> this guy flies down out of the sky. That's, that was me. That was you. <laughs> yeah. The bugs in the face is so good. That's why he's wearing goggles. <laughs> I just feel the wet slaps. I didn't even notice. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh man, That's a hot clip. Brand. That was so tasteful and respectful. <laughs> it's almost like all that vicarious, like cathartic violence you see in John Wick. It, I would really enjoy a Marvel movie if it was like that. I could totally watch an hour and a half of that. How would we do it without Peter? I don't know, because he brings this this like glee to to it all. Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to like step up and try to channel my inner Peter. So this was really fun to do, and if you guys can think of any other really cool scenes in Marvel movies that we should make rated R, let us know in the comments below, and we might just take a crack. Also, consider subscribing so you don't miss it. Oh, school, dude. I'm out of here, dude. Corridor sucks, dog. So, we just happened to be working on making the specific Marvel scene R-rated, and it turns out that one of the stunt performers randomly here on the same day we're making the scene he's in R-rated. Yeah, what's up, guys? My first stunt gig ever was the elevator fight scene in Captain America Winter Soldier. So they pulled me along through the journey. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. Civil War, I'm a Rumlo agent. Cap jumps in, catches us off guard. There's victim number one, me. <laughs> he just rips my mask off and then back kicks me through the door. It was a good time. <laughs> Place your voice, we'll have to re record you. <laughs> yeah, we should. I'm cool. down. Let's go. This is me getting immortalized in the quarter of digital thing. Go for it. Perfect. Amazing. Sick. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Yo, pleasure. This is lit! This is lit! If you're watching this, I'm already gone. Up to a place up north, a better place. I thought before I left, I would make you guys one last goof. Just remember me by, you know me, I was making those goofs. Maybe you can save it to your desktop and watch it every day. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Oh, dang. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and peace.